just remember, when you lose control, you reap the harvest that you sow. Insanity when it comes to hours worked. <laughs> Check this day out. <laughs>、right. It is Thursday. Yesterday was a washout. For sure, it was a washout. And、uh, I caught up on some sleep. Much needed sleep. Exhaustion was real. And,、uh, <laughs> yeah. Got a lot of grass today. And we have a whole house to move tonight. Wow. So I guess it was good. I slept yesterday for 4 p.m. till. 7 a.m. probably. Yeah, I was done, man. I was just done. Just body just dropped. But today's a new day. Feel refreshed. And、uh, we're gonna knock all these yards out best we can. So, oh, you see that in the background? You see that beautiful tree turning colors, don't you? Yeah, fall's on its way. I'm wearing long sleeves. Long sleeves. Yep, yep. All right, we are into our third stop. Just finished the third stop. One of those nasty commercial places. Trash everywhere. We didn't mow this route last week, so、uh, the grass is like 20 feet tall. I see you. Oh, look who just stepped in the picture over there. Ooh. He didn't have a week off after all. He was only benched for a day. And it happened to be a rain day. And always what's best for the team. <laughs> the team needs him out here today because we have tall, tall, juicy grass. So, yeah. We'll get some footage here. This is our, I don't know, fifth, sixth stop. I think it's our sixth stop. Two in a row. We'll get some footage of everybody working finally. Yep, we've already knocked out、uh, a lot of commercial places. Those aren't really, I don't like filming commercial places. They're nasty. Got some push mowing to do in the back. So, yeah. Yeah, those of us that are here showing y'all the real life ins and outs, ups and downs, the true exhaustion of this lifestyle. Yeah, you know who you are if you're on this YouTube thing showing us the grind in and out, being real. By the situations you come across. Man, the exhaustion got me. But today, cutting some nice plush green grass. Look how nice and green it is, guys. Even this weedy house. I mean, this is mostly weeds in this house. Even this place is nice and green. Stripes up beautifully. The man Dalton knocking it out with me. Dalton and Ian switch out duties, weed eating. Push mowing, mowing, weed eating. They do pretty good without me even being involved. Splitting up the、uh, duties that they gotta do. And I really don't have to do much about that. They like the yards they like. They know the routes by now. They split it up pretty conveniently. He even gotta push mow this thing. Get a bigger trailer. Throw the 48 on there. That's what I used to cut that thing with 48. Makes life a lot easier. 
upgrades will be coming in the spring. Definitely a new trailer. Yeah. Keep on rolling. What time is it? Four o'clock. What are we doing tonight? We gotta move again. One more load moving. Mm. It's gonna be a rough morning tomorrow. <laughs> Nobody's gonna wanna get up and go, but we'll manage. A lot of tall grass today. But at least we pulled Ian back out. All about team effort, like I said. Anyways, ain't a lot to talk about right now. Check back in. Small towns, big churches. You know how it goes. Beautiful. Old part of town here. All the houses are older. The uh, apartment buildings we just cut were really old, really overgrown. They're always overgrown, but uh, it's all good. We got three mornings downtown property to go, and uh, we're rolling out. So, got a lot to do today. See, boys, look. I got old, junky places also I take care of. So they're not all big, huge places. Yeah, yeah, I know. You see all those big properties we take care of. All those manicured, beautiful green shrubs just banging. Yeah, well. This is reality here too, boys. Clean all this debris up as best as you can. Because they don't want to pay for a lot of work. They just want to stay nice and neat. Without paying a lot of money. It's perfectly fine with me. Tuck stuff here, tuck stuff there. And when it's time to do a real cleanup, we come in here and do a real cleanup. These little weeds here, just keep growing back. take care of these places ain't gonna be perfect all this swag it all gets hidden here and there think of it what you will different places pay different prices for different standards of service things get blown things get hidden it's a reality out here swag everywhere as long as you clean it up get the grass cut get that weed eating done clients are happy because none of their tenants are complaining we got what two left 505 knock down two more downtown properties out Get some coffee and then go load a truck. 26 footer, all the furniture. The whole house goes today. So, wish us luck and energy. Make you do it all. You, you're in charge of moving tonight. <laughs> yeah. Nah, let's, we're gonna knock these two out and roll that day into the night, probably maybe the next morning. I don't know how long it's gonna load a truck. So. Yeah, these old school places, the downtown areas, they don't cost a lot to rent. The uh, landlord doesn't make a whole lot of money off these places compared to the repair work needed. So you just gotta keep them nice and neat. It's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have overgrown bushes. You're gonna have little corners that swag up here and there. Because you're only charging a certain amount. 
for what you accomplish. And this can be nice and tight. Look at those edges. It's good. Dalton will flatten that top edge real good. Top of that wall. But guys, I don't care what you say. In reality, you want me to spend an extra 45 minutes to clean up all this stuff every single week and bag it, take it away from the property. I wouldn't have this account because they wouldn't be able to afford it. We clean up as requested. And when we do it, we do it good and thorough. You could pick apart this part property. I could pick apart this property. Do you boys have different standards for different accounts? Compared to what the clients pay and what they want and what they expect. I assume so. So yeah, I'll clean up swag. Look, this, this BP 600 blower, I'm knocking it out. And look, we tuck it back into our own property. We try our hardest not to make messes in other people's properties. Trust me. Nice and clean, nice and neat. Look, all this stuff disappears, boom. Up into them shrubs. No harm done. No one came out and punched me in the face for blowing swag into a bush. Do what you need to do out here, boys. Make it nice and neat and clean. You know what you're doing. Don't listen to the naysay commenters ragging on you about what you do on your properties. Only listen to those who are uplifting and kind in their advice. Everyone else, ha, waste of time and effort. Yo, grab that weed here, man. Saying you know that back left fence line in the back left uh, building down inside the building. Hard base. Last place of the day, boys. In a good mood, ready to knock it out. It's swaggy. All the other properties were swaggy also. Tighten this thing up real quick. Just gotta make sure you clean it up real good too. This gets nasty. Look at this. What a mess. Grass was tall and nasty. Now, to me, the cleanup is extremely important. Now, Cleaning them up is important to them and to the truck because I don't want all the grass in the truck. <laughs> now, back to the property. All right, all this concrete, you know, you're going to have a couple stains here and there. It's wet and juicy. Blow this big, thick stuff out there and spread it out a little bit. Boom, 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 spread it out. So, do you boys blow all this swag all the way down to a certain area and uh, try to hide it the best you can 
or you just blow it back up into the grass that you just cut. Because I see a ton of properties and a ton of companies. After they were done mowing this, they would just blow all this stuff back into the grass. And the apartment complex would be left with thatch, cigarette butts, road debris, uh, you name it. They'd be all laying all over this nice green turf. Now, I was trained the way I train my guys. Get all this stuff, push it in the direction you want to push it. Don't push it back onto the nicely manicured areas that you took care of. If there's stuff on top, blow it a little bit. Push it around a little bit. Yeah, I saw that trash go in the corner. It'll be alright. We'll get it next time. But yeah, push it down, get rid of it. Don't be one of those companies that just pushes it back into the nice fresh grass that you just cut. It makes no sense. It takes a little bit extra time, but not really. You're walking this property anyways. You might as well treat it like uh, you love it, like you love all your properties. It pays the bills, just like the big pretty ones. So every month. It brings to the check. And for me to deserve that check, I gotta do a good job every time I come out. Make sure it's nice for the people who live here. And I know my new guys are gonna miss stuff here and there. And I will critique them as we go through the seasons. They're learning the properties like I have them. So yeah, there you go. Cleaning up swag. What time is it? 7.22. 7.27. Guess who I captured? <laughs> I captured her for the adventure of moving. And we got more people coming. We got Dalton, Ian, and the welding boss, Mark. Yeah. Here you are now. Pulling up. Yep. Tomorrow morning's gonna be hard, boys. Getting up and going. I think we're gonna be here pretty late. I hope not. I hope not. Look, there she is. Who else we got? We got Ian. We got Dalton. <laughs> it grew. 26 footer. It's 650. What's the point? Midnight. Midnight. Alright, we're gonna do it. Are we happy? Yeah. Yes, we are. We're happy. Alright, boys. It's 10 30 at night. Got it. The boss, Mark Dalton. Here we got Tyler also now. <laughs> Man, y'all don't even know. We're doing it, but wow. Yeah, definitely a family effort needed to conquer this mission to help this other family out. Totes. Plates. Careful. Heavy snaps. Uh.
All right, so yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I passed out 4.30, I guess, 4.30 in the afternoon on my rain day and uh, woke up at 9.30, ate some dinner, went back to bed at 10.30, woke up like at 7.30 this morning, so Apparently my body needed the break and the rest. And here I am tonight. <laughs> oh. It keeps on coming. Where you want this? All right, the day is over. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind, but the day's finally over, guys. It's uh, a little bit after one o'clock in the morning. We got that whole house loaded up in that U-Haul successfully. Yeah. Tell you what, I said in um, a past video before, I do go the extra mile for my clients and for the clients that I got a special bond with, we'll do this kind of stuff for them also. So, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. I look crazy right now, I know, but uh, got a lot of grass cut tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, more grass, and Saturday. And Sunday, I think I'm driving I got a little bit left. I got to put on my trailer and drive down to South Carolina for them. So they have all their stuff. And then Monday I'll have a little bit of overflow list from this week. Hey man. Goal set. Missions accomplished. And it's a good feeling at the end. So. I don't know when I'll have time to upload this video. But right now it is Friday, 1.30 a.m. I'll check back in soon. 